Hang on, brothers and sisters. Liberation is near. It's almost time. At home, making sure my kid doesn't smash his face, you know, and I'm talking on the phone, and it's like, you know, like having a restaurant that's like that, like that kind of is good with a little bit of back and forth, kind of like, it has its perks and its values, you know what I mean? When Sometimes she, it's uh, great, and people think it's funny, like, oh, that guy, that guy that was so problem with somebody to go to hell one day when I asked her to stress, and oh, it's so funny, like, <laughs> you know, he, he told me that, you know, that this was his catch, you know, that this was his sandbox, and we're going to play by his rules. Oh, I love that, you know. And then some lady is like, "Oh, that guy's an asshole." He yeah. threw me out one day because I asked for ranch dressing, you know. Like, yeah, that lady, huh? that lady that day when she Did said I throw that her too. Up? Yeah, when she said, "Well, I think she left," but you were kind of like beat it. And when yeah. when she said it that I day, I love telling people to beat it. That's always funny. Talking about keeping it loose there, all the employees when she said called them a faggot, they're all like, "Oh, like the whole restaurant, <laughs> yeah. oh." Like, you know, it turned into do, like a your mama dish yeah. thing, kind of. <laughs> it was awesome. Man, I had I think the best, one of the best stories that I have for like throwing somebody out of the place. Like, all right, that's it, buddy. That done it. Like that's what I do. All right, that done it. You know, like, <laughs> this this guy came in and he ordered a quesadilla, and he says to me, he says, "Listen, I want you to make that quesadilla. All right, and I'm not gonna buy it yet. I want to make sure that it's to my uh, my my liking." Because the last time I was here, I got a quesadilla, and uh, I didn't think there was that much beef in it. And I was like, oh, that doesn't sound like my crew. My crew put yeah. those beef away all day long. They're all heavy-handed, most yeah. of them, you know what I mean? Like, you're like, oh, especially back then, we didn't quite have our grasp on, like, portion control back then. So I was like, oh, I don't know, that doesn't sound like my crew. But listen, I'm going to make this quesadilla, all right? So I'm making the quesadilla. And he's all, more beef, more beef. And I'm all, no, this is how much beef we put on here. He's like, oh, yeah? That's not what the, uh, the owner told me. And I was like, actually, I am the owner. And he's like, listen, I got a beef quesadilla here one time, and there was no beef on it. And I want, I'm not going to pay for that beef quesadilla until I see that to my liking. And I said, hey, if I'm going to make this quesadilla, you're buying it one way or another. And then I said, uh, I was like, when did you get this quesadilla? And he goes, I don't know, like six months ago, right? And my dishwasher, this kid, Earl, that's been working off and on there forever, he starts laughing. He starts laughing like, what? He walks away all giggling and laughing. And the guy gets mad. The guy goes, hey, what's your name? And Earl just looks at him, but he doesn't have to tell you his name. And I'm making the case of deer at this point. And he's like, no, what's your name? Because I want to tell the owner about you. I go, listen, there's nothing that you can tell me about this kid that I don't already know, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, right. he just, he, whatever, he shouldn't have laughed. But, you know, like, let's get this case of deer thing done. And he's like, you're not the owner. He told me I wasn't the owner. And at <laughs> that time, I was working like 65, 70 hours a week. I was probably yeah. in my, like, 48th hour on a Wednesday. I was all, I put the spatulas down. I picked the beef up off the thing. I was all... Get the hell out of here. I was like, go on. Get, I'm not the owner. I'm not the owner. I was like, yeah, if I wasn't the owner, I wouldn't be able to throw you out. So I was like, get out of here. And he's like, what? No, I'm looking for the big guy. It was my old business partner. And I was like, oh, you want to talk to him? I was like, believe me, I'm a lot easier going than him. My old business partner was an animal, man. He was, was like, that? Matt. Matt, yeah. He was, a, he was a monster. Like, he was like just he, he was a big, huge dude. And he just would throw people out some days just out of just, I, I don't even know how it happened. You know what I mean? <laughs> One second I was making a talk, and the next second some ladies getting like the old, like, all right, beat it. That was it. Get out of here, beat it, you know? And, um, and I told the guy, and the guy, there's this picture of me and my old business partner right next to the door. And the guy kind of started walking out, and I don't think he really thought that I was, I was really throwing him out. And it, he looked at me kind of confused, and I looked at him, and I kind of shoot him. I went, go on, get out, like this. And he looked up at the picture, and then he looked over at me, and then he looked back up at the picture, and he just kind of like hung his head and walked away. Uh, it was pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was pretty, it was, it was a good one, you know, like, and, and I don't know, it was one of my favorites. It was a long, long time ago. It was That's a long awesome. time ago. You kicked, what happened with her too is that lady, she said you weren't, she didn't, she goes, I want to speak to the owner. Yeah, she didn't go the owner. I am the owner. I am she the goes, owner, you know? She said something about how you run your business. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not for everybody, but it's not really supposed to be for everybody. It's, you know, like I said, like the, well, there's more people, happy people I hope than some of my customers. I hope some of my customers, like, listen to this. I'm going to put this up on my Facebook so that way some of them can listen to this. Hell because yeah. I get a lot of problems with people not liking the way I run. I mean, it's a loose taco shop. You come in, hey, give me a beef burrito, you get on out. You know, if you come in and ask for a beef burrito with no beans and no salsa, something might be said to you. Like, yeah. oh, geez, you're, you're taking all the Mexican food out of my Mexican food, you know? <laughs> if you come in and ask for, for uh, coffee... And I say we don't have any hot drinks, and then you ask for tea, hot tea. You're gonna get you're gonna get made fun of. Like it's gonna happen. Like we're gonna pull your card a little bit because it's kind of funny, you know. Like, hey lady, I just said that I don't have coffee. You think I would imagine being paired with tea, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I get people like that, you know, because it's it's food service, and they get really mad. But it's like, you know, I'm just trying to get across like one of those like kinds of places that you know it's like like hey, you know, you're the customer, 
I'm the restaurant guy. You come in and be an awesome customer and order your food awesome and know that you love the food here because you love all of it and and you're not you know it's it's almost like you know it's it's like catering to people and that's how everybody does everybody like oh whatever whatever way you want it you know what I mean and I yeah. just think that like listen I made my food this way you taking out the salsa and the beans is just absolutely crushing me because I think the salsa and the beans like need to be in a burrito I can't imagine eating a burrito without salsa or beans. I just yeah, can't yeah. imagine it. Like, I don't even know. Like, it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. So like when we say something, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that's our, that's like the back and forth. You know yeah. what I mean? And you can choose to be pissed off and be like, oh, that guy got mad at me because I asked for ketchup or, you know, or, and if you're like, or a, get the salsa. <laughs> if you're a relaxed, normal person and I went in and I was like, hey, can I get this without this? And you busted my balls. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm lame. But yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, I know, I'm an idiot, but whatever, you know what I mean? So what, I don't want any onions in my barbecue burrito, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there are certain requests that obviously, in anything, like, come, there are certain requests that are not that bad. Like, if somebody asks for a beef burrito and with guacamole and cilantro, I'm more than happy to make that. Oh, that was my phone just falling. <laughs> I'm more than happy to make that because that's awesome. Like, that's somebody that really likes to eat. That's yeah, somebody, I, want, I want to feed the people that really like to eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I want them to be awesome customers. Like, it's a give and, it's a give and take, you know? It's like, you, I, you want me to be an awesome cus- restaurant owner, and I want you to be an awesome customer. I want you to just come in. You got to know what you want. You know, like, I have people that come in there, and they're fast. They know. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's how I try to order. Like, there's a place called the Wiener Circle in Chicago. You can't even step up to the plate to order a hot dog unless you know if you stumble they give you crap like nice slice nice slice in Providence like go in that place and not know what you want you know what yeah. I mean like, and I love that you know there's like it's a cool way to do it well yeah there's those barbecue joints that like hey this is how we've been doing it since 1930 and you're not getting it any other way like that is my how I That's like, like it Pat's in Philly yeah Tuesday. exactly they have like a Pat's... sign that if you don't know how to order yeah don't order yet. Like, you know what? I kind of get any one of those signs right. because, like, and I, and, I, and I can take it with people. Like, sometimes old people go in there. I think they're cute. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, I don't want no beans in my taco. And that I can get. You know, like, oh, sure, no problem. You know what I mean? We we there's, we have, like, it's not necessarily about, like, what they what people order. It's more like the way that they the way that they want it. And they, they want me to make them up something totally different. They look at the menu, they turn around, they go, I want a steak sandwich. And I'm like, I don't make steak sandwiches. You yeah, know like, what I mean? Like, the hell you were just here? looking at the menu for 10 minutes and you want a steak sandwich. You know, like, you want me to make you something that I don't even, like, offer as food. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, and then you know, things get said and then somebody's getting thrown out. And that was probably the, I think that lady that you talked about was, she wanted me to ring up like a bunch of different That's what together. it was, yeah. So busy Friday lunch rush, really busy, places mob, and this lady wants to make 15 different, or like, it was probably, literally, realistically, it was probably like six individual orders, and she wanted all those orders run, run up separately. And I said, lady, I actually have a policy, it's on my menu, it says, I don't separate slips. Yeah. If you are going to call in food for the office, right, you're going to call in food for the office, hey, I got a big group of, I got eight hungry ladies over here, and we want to make all this food, you know what I mean? Like, don't make it nice and easy. Just be like, I want, you know, five tacos, three tostada salads, two chicken quesadillas, walk on one, you know, like, yeah. make it easy. Like, if you call up any place and you've got eight orders that are all completely and totally specific and off of the menu, yeah, it's you're going to get it, you know what I mean? You're going to get, like, a little bit of hassle for that. And honestly, she make... was out of line. Like, she, no, she, she got rude. Yeah. She, she, got did rude got, she did get rude, and, you know, like, she, like... You know, like we were just kind of going back and forth, and she didn't like it. And I, and I, it was me. But it was probably my like smart ass smile, that smart ass smile that I had, <laughs> like my little grin. I was like, "What? You don't like my policy?" That's what it was. I was like, "You don't like my policies?" And she's like, "No, I don't." As a matter of fact, I'd like to talk to the owner or the manager or something like that. Yeah, that was the best part. Yeah. I was so happy. Yeah. But yeah. the proof is in the pudding with your restaurant because honestly, there's about ninety nine percent of people that love meal problema. So like, if I'd you're in that, like, I, I, I think in now it's like it used to be ninety five. Yeah. I'm like 92, I think. Now. All right, well, it's 92. I've, I've if you're it, in that yeah. other percentage, few, I, yeah, you're an asshole. But, if you don't like it, you're an asshole. Yeah, that's how I look at it. Pretty much. Because there's the majority of people that go in and have a great experience, and there's such a small portion of assholes. Yes. You know? Well, I mean, that, that, goes, that, that goes with, like, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, if I serve a 1,000 people all day long and two people are angry, I'll take those odds. Good odds. I'll yeah, take yeah. those odds any day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Even if, like, and that's how it is. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes because we're busy and... I just got into a nice one recently with another woman who owned a restaurant. They ordered food, and then they came and didn't want it. This lady owned a restaurant. How the fuck did they do that? She owned a restaurant, this little sandwich shop, and she ordered food, and then when she came in and she looked at the description of the food, because she was ordering, I don't know what menu she was looking at, but she like was like, oh, I don't want that. And I was like, well, I just made it. What do you want me to do with it? Yeah. You know, you ordered food, and she's like, I don't care what you do with it, but I don't want that. And I was wow. about to make her something wow. else. 
I was about to make her something else too. I was about to like take the food back. And I just said like, she asked for something else. I go, you know, you sure you want this, right? I was like, don't make me make something else. Yeah, and uh, rightfully don't so. make me, I go, hey, don't make me make something else and have you not read the description this time because you didn't feel like reading the menu. I got to lose out on 16 bucks. So yeah. I was like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand that even how like anybody can think it was me. And she got like, she goes, yeah, I'm sure. She's like, yeah, I'm sure I want that. I was like, all right, I'm just making sure, you know what I mean? So I turned around and I, again, I started making the food and she started like going, like all of a sudden then she started critiquing like, it. no, yeah, she started like critiquing it. I was like, ah, you know what, get out of here. I was like, I don't need this today. I was like, I've had a long day. I was like, I don't need this today. You know what I mean? And she's like, you don't need what today? I was like, yeah, I don't need, I don't need this. I was like, go order somewhere else. I go, there's got to be some place with the pictures on the menu that you can look at. I was like, get out, <laughs> get out. It. Yeah, get out, get out. You know what I mean? And then I got, I heard from her mother, the owner of the restaurant. It was like a big, it was like a big to do, but it was, Jeez. it was awful. And I can't figure out, I guess, technically, I don't know. Maybe I am wrong. If you, if you Maybe to, I am wrong, Ramsey. No, no way, right. no You're way, right. dude, no way. If, if you had to tell someone so everyone, if Numbers people don't see lie. this and they don't know what to order, what, what, hmm. would you, what would you recommend? Anything off the menu. Anything yeah. regular. Yeah. Like, don't mess around with the, don't mess around with anybody's food too much. Like, you know what I mean? You want a little more water, Ramsey? Yeah, please, thank you. I got this nice pitcher for a birthday gift from my wife. That's it, though. All out. Oh, oh man. Somebody's going to have to pee pretty soon. I already got to go. Huh. Someone just commented on a photo that I posted of me and you and said take his phone away, and they are absolutely right. Yeah, my phone, my phone. The thing does not yeah. stop. No. Who's calling you? I don't know. Bill anybody. collectors. Probably. It could be anybody. <laughs> no, but what? What? No, what, what, what honestly, would you be? Burri- I think burritos. Burrito. Like everything that. Yeah, and like if you just go in there and like you don't know anything, you should. If I go out to eat somewhere, I don't ever mess with the food because I'm there to eat, whether it be Chinese or or, or Indian or wherever. Like. You're there to try something at the restaurant. Yeah. I want to know what they make. Yeah. So for people in this nowadays, like with everybody so picky, I mean, granted, allergies, I take that very seriously. Like, I'll make you anything. I'll work with an allergy. But, like, just picky people, you know what I mean? It just, like, you know, they, they I would never go into a place and order something completely different. Like, hey, how you doing? Like, this is this nice Chinese restaurant. Listen, I want you to, can I, can I make my own kind of pad thai today? Yeah. I want to yeah. make my own pad thai. You know Open your I mean? own like, restaurant. Yeah, I want to, hey, listen, I don't want the pad thai that you have. I want you to make my, the pad thai that I like to make at home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so like I tell anybody, like if you go there, just order order regular and like add. You know, don't take anything away. Add. If you want guacamole, uh, like, I add, take away know? sour cream. Sour cream is one thing because you know something, sour cream is totally logical. Like, when somebody's like, hey, because not everybody likes sour cream. Yeah, I love it. I've been trying to make fun of that. Yeah, made fun of that. They asked me if I was feeling chubby. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, and that's a perfectly, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's what happens. Like, people, like, some people are like, they can't handle the dairy, you know what I mean? But, like, you know, you're going to get. They know it's kind Ramsey. of funny, yeah. Yeah, they know Ramsey. Yeah, yeah. Well. You're feeling, yeah, yeah, you're feeling chubby. Right? And what did you owner. say? I asked to speak to the owner. No, what did you say when he asked you if you were feeling chubby? <laughs> Right. Well, somebody asked me that the other day and I was feeling chubby. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I said, I'm not a fan of the cream. No, but you know what? Like sour cream, I can see taking that off. You know what I mean? Like cheese, like dairy. I can see people taking dairy off yeah. all day long. You know what I mean? So this is a good, great example. This is, this is, I get this once a week. Okay. Hey, I, uh, I, I, I don't eat dairy. Okay. Well, we have plenty of vegan stuff. You know what I mean? Like all my beans are vegan and stuff. And so maybe you can get yourself a, like a, a vegetarian taco, a vegan taco, no cow. So if you, you know, when you don't want cheese and sour cream, it's no cow. Well, get yourself a burrito, a veggie burrito with hot sauce and a little guacamole, so no good. cow, right? So go, go that way. Oh, I was kind of wanting a quesadilla with chicken. So you <laughs> want, you literally want a cheese tortilla with no cheese, like with just chicken. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not. You know what? I gave you a thousand options. Why are you going for the one option that I can't make without cheese? You know what I mean? And then I'm the asshole because I won't make them a cheese. A dia, which is queso. A cheese dia without cheese. You know what I mean? Like a quesadilla, no queso. You know what I mean? Like all you want is flour, tortilla, and chicken, and then they're gonna eat that, and then they're gonna go on Yelp and tell me my food was bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I had a burrito there one time, and it was awful. Like you know what I mean? Well, what you get? I got a chicken burrito with no beans, no salsa, light rice. You know what I mean? And then they go on the internet, and they're all, this place sucked. Not only did they make fun of me about it, because I know they're gonna go, you know, but. You know, the uh, the food was terrible and bland. Dude, yeah. we, we make sure to make fun of people. When we go with people and they get just a plain quesadilla, yeah. we're like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, right? Billy, like, Billy drowned. He says, I'll take a chicken quesadilla with cheese. I was like, Billy, it's a quesadilla. Yeah. Like, they have cheese that you go know, on. Going man. back to what we talked about before, it's not California. There's like these places, Mexican food is like new to the East Coast. Yeah. But it ain't that new. I mean, there's a place called Taco Bell, yeah, right? No like, shit. they have quesadillas, <laughs> don't they? I don't yeah. think any of it's real, though. 
I can I can go I can go off for days on like the way these humans are evolving into like these complete and total morons oh, that dude don't, absolutely that need to order absolutely. that need to order by number and, yeah. and volume absolutely that's it I want a number five make it extra large you know what I mean and like that's the it drives me crazy like. I can't stand that. That's dude. So many of my so friends just eat meat and meat and fast food. That's yeah, nobody it. likes cheese. Nobody. I mean, nobody likes the vegetables. Yeah, you know, everyone wants to take vegetables out of their out of their diet. You know, like that's ah, crazy. I only like rice, cheese, sour cream. It's all I like. It's like yeah. Idiocracy, the movie. Nah. You remember that movie? Yeah, yeah. Same, like, I don't remember it well. Nah. I've seen half. Just of it, yeah. everyone gets dumber in the future, and it's like, oh, yeah. I saw that yeah. little Mike Judge movie. I had yeah. I had a serious question for you. Um, since Ramsey actually, he wants to open up uh, his own thing one day. Like, what's your mm-hmm. advice to someone like a Ramsey that's like, you know, no, he's, you know, he's starting from Looking scratch. Do, yeah. Like, how, like, what's his, what's your advice? <laughs> Get money. Get money. Honestly, because after that, I mean, if you got somebody that's like, if you have money, I mean, you can do whatever. But if you're trying to, like, work on a budget, it's just used equipment. Yeah. Hustling. Hustling, trying to get the do as much of it as you can, paint, you know what I mean? Like, you obviously, you spend all the money on plumbing. So if you were going to, like, that kind of depends. Like, I get that a lot. People really come to me a lot and they're like, hey, I want to open up. Probably once every few months, somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I've been thinking about opening up a restaurant or a coffee shop or a bar. And they ask me, what do I think? And I don't even remember because I did it so long ago. Like, yeah. well, I don't know, you know? Like, I did it, like, so, so long ago. Like, what would I need now? What will you need to open up a hundred person restaurant or a five person restaurant? Like a takeout spot or are you gonna do a drive thru? Are you gonna do what do you what do you you know what I mean? Like well, you kinda of, but like for anything. A truck. Yeah, I'm trying to move top, the truck. Uh, not top yeah, truck. My truck. first idea was a, a restaurant, but I feel like I could still have a different job and work a truck truck. Well, you know, like the ultimate I used to think that too, like in the restaurant, like, oh, I probably still, if this doesn't, like, you know, still work someplace else when I first opened. Because really, when I first opened up, it was so small, it was almost like having a taco truck to yeah. stand still. It was, it but, was small, yeah, for sure. But, like, you know, like the whole idea behind a taco truck, I, I've done a lot of research on this. I think taco trucks are awesome. Uh, yeah. I think that if you have a restaurant and you have a taco truck, it's hard because you have to fill the restaurant up with food and the taco truck up with food. And you have to, like, you know, like, I, I thought about getting a taco truck, but it just didn't make sense. Yeah. Like, I was too busy down at my shop to, like, worry about taking the food that I desperately needed because I only have so much space. I'm worried about taking the two salsas that I desperately need on a Saturday yeah. and throwing it inside of a truck that might or might not do very good that day. So, I, but I think, like, that to get an actual, if that's all you were doing. A starting like, point? Yeah, if that's all you were doing. Like, I'm doing this taco truck. This is going to be my thing. I think it's a little bit hotter out here because we don't have, like, those places like they have in San Antonio where yeah. it's, like, taco truck every fucking night of the week it's like eight trucks all that's how it was in New York I yeah know. yeah you know what I mean you like taco trucks yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I've been to that spot in San Antonio yeah yeah, yeah awesome. you know like I, I, I only know of it because oh, I've been to it right about like it one place yeah like that, well a lot of a lot of cities have that yeah. so it's like that's one of the things that you have to do but you really like to do a taco truck only you need like a kitchen to cook this stuff in you know what I'm saying like you need like a place like a home base to fill up that truck in so a lot of these like high end chefs that are getting out of culinary school that start a taco truck you know, a lot of them have like a place to make this food. They fill prep the truck. Yeah, yeah, you got to prep it at your home and then fill up the truck. You know what I mean? Like these trucks don't have a wicked lot of room. Yeah. Now. So how much how much storage are you gonna be able to put in there? You know? And you gotta like I I thought about it. I would like to do in the, like another restaurant and then a truck, but I want to do a truck mainly to do like a lot of catering. Send the truck out like Thursday um, and Fridays or Friday and Saturdays to the beach and then nighttime. Dude, that's catering. what I was. Or thinking. like you know like in the winter time you can just go do some catering like. Somebody has a party of a hundred, you know, they got some sort of party going on. I was thinking of that thing trying to again? get a truck and, uh, Is it? like, cause like go to all the bars when they close, yeah. just hit up the parking lots. Yeah. Or in New Bedford, they close at two or whatever. Am I going to have to take the phone away? Union, Is this going to no. distract from the show? No, no. All right. just, just drive up and down Union with the taco, or post up right by yeah, the bars. You better like, not come down Union on my taco truck, son. You better have no problem. I'm written down on the side of it. Well, he's you not gonna do top. He's not gonna do. You want to come down no, 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 Union Street? You better, it better say no problem. All right, what is it? I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do wouldn't Mexican. Touch the Mexican. Wow. Um, Look at this. The steamer's broke. Oh, your steamer. How the hell did my steamer break? I don't know. My what, my pellet stove just broke. No, but this is for the restaurant. This is like. All right, I'm taking it away. No, no, wait. Steam, wait. Steam table at work is broken. Your mom called. And you missed Isaiah's school meeting. Right? <laughs> well, did this, you miss yeah, the school yeah. meeting for this? Yep. Hell yeah. Did we get good grades? Is that least you grade us well? No. Uh, A plus. Know. What's this? 
This is, this is what was said was gonna happen. Take the phone away. Take the phone away. He's gonna be texting the whole time. I got a time. question. Dude, this is how this is this is business. This I got a question like, though. I got business. a question. Let's right, keep go it moving. I got um was there any time when starting up like uh, a panicky time? Like where you're just like this every, isn't gonna work? Like the dream's not yeah, gonna both, work. Every time that I would ever do uh, an expansion. So, yeah. like, I started out nine seats, I expanded into a little room to like fit 20. Yeah. Like, be, before that expansion, I was stressed, like, no end, you know? Yeah. And then to do the bar, like, I thought at one point, I was like, oh, that's it. We're all done. You know what I mean? No problem's <laughs> done. You know, I'm putting money into this thing, money into this thing. Yeah. Liquor licenses, everything else, man. It was like... Phew. Was that tough to get, the liquor license? Not necessarily tough to get, just it's not cheap to get, you no. know what I mean? Yeah, right now, they're telling me that the steam table, the steamer that we... Tor- that we steam the tortillas. tortillas. Yeah, those, it's broken. So is that like an immediate issue? Sort of. That's kind of a big like issue. Like we should yeah. quit the show and you should uh, I don't know. It. What else do we got? Let's do this real quick. Hold on. You <laughs> might be sending a text message, yeah. Um, I just had more questions about like um, the future of the restaurant. Like what's the direction you want to go with it? Like is there anything coming up that you think you're going to add to it? Like where do you see yourself in 10 years with the restaurant? Like, I hope, hopefully owning one more, another restaurant, but I want it really small, like a little taco shop. Yeah. Yeah, that, that I'd really love to have a, a little taco shop somewhere else um, in like a few towns over somewhere. Yeah. Either, either way. Or uh, like a taco shop and like a summer business. You know what I mean? I think that would be cool. And like just small. Just another no problem. Smaller. Yeah. And that's it, you know, keep keep the payroll down, keep the freaking electric electric down, you know, no beer, no wine. Yeah. Because that shit's a pain in the ass, you know what I mean? Like, small little taco shop. Yeah. That'd be sick. What kind of truck do you want to do? I want to just do, like, hot sandwiches and, like, comfort food, basically. Yeah. Maybe some pulled porks. Pulled pork sandwich pork. kind of thing. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah. You ever had fried macaroni and cheese balls? I have. So this really dude can cook, man. Uh, you ever watch? Like, you, ever you, ever, you guys know that pizza, pizza nista place? Yeah, yeah. like yeah. They, like salmon, like that. Yeah. I, dude, it's awesome. Like that, I see the skateboarders own restaurants. Like I think that I know them, even though I don't. Yeah. Like yeah. I can tell though, I have something in common with them already. But like they're always posting pictures on Instagram with yeah. like, their macaroni and cheese pizza. Ooh, yeah, shit. so yeah, good, man. Damn, yeah, that can't... place looks awesome. I love that. I like the way. I really want to get out there. One of these days, when my kids get a little older, I plan on going on like a food tour. Like just drop, uh, like going out to California. And do you eating, watch food shows? A, a lot of food shows. Yeah, yeah. I, I watch a lot of food shows. I don't like them. Yeah. But I watch them. Like I loved Anthony Bourdain. I, yeah. he, he, I actually like. He's, he's, he's cool. Awesome. He's cool. You know what I mean? But, but that's because he's like a punk rock New York guy, yeah, he's, drinking he's, drugs, sex yeah. everywhere. He pulls I mean? no like, punches. For yeah, sure. his his books are pretty cool. Like I don't read much, but I read some of his stuff, and it's pretty awesome. But like his shows are always really good. You know. I love that that bizarre food, even though I don't really like the host that much. I haven't that, seen that. He's like he's eating like bugs and just weirdo eyeballs. And oh, it's, shit, it's, it's you know? Anthony Bourdain's yeah. buddy. The yeah, ball no, guy, Andrew, Andrew Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Yeah. Zimmerman. Yeah. Zimmerman yeah. Um, I pretty much put like all those travel shows. Like I get hooked, yeah. dude. Hey, I call them speed bumps. You know what I mean? When I'm flipping through the channels. <laughs> Speed bump, gotta slow down at this, and then there's the stop sign. Oh, I'm watching this. That's it. <laughs> slow it down at Anthony Bourdain, and then you find out which one it is, and then you just get sucked in. What yeah. about, uh, do you have any regrets, or are you just no. stoked? No. You know what, I, I, not necessarily regrets, but I never, like, made it in, like, a skateboard magazine. I've gotten, like, more notoriety in, like, my restaurant business, being a restaurant owner that's a skateboarder, than I ever did, like, in actual skateboarding. You know, like, I've taken a bunch of photos in the past, and I just never made it. Yeah. So, like, that's one of the things that I'll, I'll do it one day, like, something will happen. I'll hook up with Kareem or something like that. Yeah, yeah for Take sure. a photo or something, you know? Dude, we'll just do a collabo. We'll do a world, uh, we'll do one of my boards, we'll do a no prob, like Nick did, no prob, Shetler board, and then we'll have an, an ad where it'll be a split ad. It'll be you doing a Vero flip. How about if it's... Vero flip 50-50? Uh, that's kind of like the <laughs> bag it in it, I really, no, that's kind of like giving it up, though. I need to get it, like, the trick-wise. Yeah. You know what I mean? I need it to be, it needs to be legit. Like, it needs to be, like... Straight up, like this photo was good, this trick was good, this is what we're using. You know what I mean? It's gotta be, it's gotta be legit. Cause then I'll be like, oh man, that's rad, but Anthony put that together. You know what I mean? It's gotta be legit. It's gotta be, le- it's gotta be we'll like start legit. Fucking kicking it into 50, 50, I'm working dude. on it, man. I gained a few pounds in the off season. I'm working on, I'm working on, you know, my my weight, my figure. Yeah. You know, I'm really, I want to like skate a lot this summer. Now that my baby's a little bit older. We're gonna see another video kids. part. I don't think a full video part, but I definitely have like a list in my phone of play spots like phone spots like yeah. I get a picture of it and I remember the trick that I want to do there and I mean it's nothing like crazy but it'll be just like fun skating you know yeah, what I mean absolutely there was a few things though that I was like dude I I filmed the trick just recently man I got a hernia falling 
a hernia. Oh, then the numb shit. again? The, uh, yeah, yeah. It'd be like a very open hole where there's a gap, but like, it was really big. It was like an eight foot flat gap, like Under shitting ground. Yeah. Like, off like the shitting, of shitting ground, you know what I mean? Like, I was going for it that day, man. I paid the price, busted toe, fucking hernia. <laughs> some old man, it's some old man shit. It oh. is, it is. But like, like I, I still want to skate a lot, but you know, kids and family kids and you got? restaurant, four. You have four kids? Yeah. So you didn't see what you saw two of them when you came in. I, I didn't know you were at the school. four, though. Wait, yeah. uh, damn, that's insane. I got two of them in school right now. One of them I'm missing freaking school meetings because I thought I made it for Wednesday. Isaiah? Yeah. But he has a good trick look. He came to our yeah, contest he and he worked hard for a trick look. He on the job. handled it. You know, like, he's been, he's been around it since he was, like, a baby, you know? Like, it's, it, but he's just like, like most kids these days, you know what I mean? If it doesn't come wicked easy, they don't want to do it every day, you know? I think he loves skating, though. I like to think he loves skating. He looks like he Maybe with age, you know, yeah. kicking. You know, kids get into everything, video games, all of a sudden, playing fucking 98 hours of Call of Duty, and then <laughs> he got into graffiti for a little while, which was funny, you know, like, here, you, you know, I want him to be, I would love any of my kids to be, like, an artist, but of course, yeah. he's going to, like, spray paint on walls and stuff like <laughs> it's that. It's way funner that like, way. I told him, I was like, I don't care what you spray paint, as long as you can bail yourself out of jail and drive yourself away from the scene of the crime. Like, don't stop spray painting things when you're riding around in your backpack on your bike yeah. in, like, your small town. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, when you... Well, because you've been there. Do it. Like, you've probably been there. I've definitely yeah. painted or, like, written stuff on stuff, but it was, like, when I was older, you know what I mean? Like, this yeah. kid's 13 years old. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for, like, spray paint on the sides of walls. They get 13. you, too. They'll get you for a whole bunch of different Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what we should talk about before we wrap this thing up is your collection, because you have yeah. a hell of a collection. I know you have tons of world in, old world industry yeah. awards. And that goes, that honestly goes back to, like, not being able to skate as much. I think if I skated more, I wouldn't collect skateboards as more, but, like, it really just, like, is, it became, like, an addiction, and I don't know, they're, like, the, my favorite things in the world. And you just bought some off family. the Sid, you were saying. I bought some off the package just recently. He's redoing his house, so picked up some... I consider it saving. He had him like screwed up in the pit, which is like his basement in his yeah. house. And, like the pit's famous, and the package had him like screwed up into the rafters and water damage. And they were like, like some of them had like they just had moisture in them because yeah. it's a basement, man. Like I went down there, I almost had a heart attack. I wanted to take them all and just like sit, just give me all of them. <laughs> like a doctor, because, like, yeah, a like a doctor. Yeah, that's how I felt that. Like I'm actually, I, I think I might be headed down there tomorrow and bring him a couple boxes so that way he can put some decks in. Because he's just got them like in piles, and like not all of them are great, but they'll be like he there where old his old board, so yeah, you know, like I, I, I don't know how, how I got really started on collecting skateboards. I mean, I started collecting skateboards. What's your collection younger. up to? Yeah, I was just gonna ask. There's a lot, a shit ton. Yeah, one a metric lot. shit ton. A shit ton. And there are a lot, lot of one. shit ton. Well, I mean, there's like there's like nineties stuff. There's like stuff that I get from like friends, like my friends' models, and I don't know. Well, a lot of these are I, like coveted. Like people want these ones. These are mm-hmm. like. I can say, well, like anything else, man, if I want to do something, you know. You're gonna, doing it right. You're doing I'm going right. to try to do it right, you know what I mean? Like, I spend a lot of time at it. This isn't, like, overnight. Like, I really spend, like, I consider a decent amount of time. I took a bunch probably of Probably more time than I should even admit. Like, I should probably spend that time. But like I said, I've got kids. So I'm sitting at home, you know what I mean, yeah. and making dinner. you got your phone right there with eBay and... You know, I'm always selling something and then buying something else. So What's it's the most expensive of, one that you bought? I don't know. Or sold? There are a lot of them. I can't even remember. No. I don't talk about price. Well, you don't have to like give the number, idiot. but do you know which one it was? It's which one? Michael Lely Barnyard. Yeah, the, the Mike barnyard. Barnyard. Michael Lely Barnyard. Yeah. It's not up here. Yeah, I think that it. was like that was actually like a reissue that I set up, but like we that did was, the World Industries re- reissue. Did you get? Yeah, one? yeah. No, I got one. I got okay. one. Yeah, that was something, man. World Industries, because you know that company cease and desist. Yeah. World should have jumped on that pony years ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh man, that cease and desist came along and made. Hundreds, hundreds, thousands, I reckon, like... Yeah, they're like, them. Because, like, they were, like, making hundreds at a time. So they make, like, a the barnyard, a hundred of them. Yeah. And then they change it. This is, like, a hundred more. And, like, they were, like, all limited edition, but they were just, like, limited edition colors and series and stuff like that. They made a lot of money off of that. Yeah, they definitely capitalized on that. Yeah, yeah. And then World came and did, like, their own, like, reissue of the Valeli. Which, but it was already out. Yeah. Like, the, like the original. And they, they screened the boards, too. Like, this yeah. company, they were screening the stuff, but... What World does now is uh they do the reissue board and then they do the shoe with it. So like yeah. Oh, like, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, like the sole, the outside of the sole will be translucent and clear and you can see the graphic on the yeah. shoe and then on the insole and on the outer sole and it it's done really well and it's yeah, cool it's awesome. like you could have the board and the shoe and it's just like matches, you yeah. know. Like well, you yeah. Well, they, they I mean being a company like that they should probably cash in on some of their like 
the iconic graphics that they have. Oh yeah, absolutely. you know what I mean. Like they'd be silly not to. It's just like Powell right now. I mean, most of Powell's, they they're they're doing it. I mean, you kind of like in in this day and age, you have to because there's not a lot of kids. Like a lot of kids are gonna be buying skateboards, yeah. but there's this whole other demographic of men. Grown ups that are still excited that are still oh, excited yeah. that want to skate that Ron Chapman reissue because they skated one in 1991. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like they skated, saw, you heard yeah. that one. You know what I mean. Like that. That that's like a whole other other market. Thing, you know? It's a yeah. whole other market. Yeah. And to make it in skateboarding now, you gotta sell to. I mean, I think that you just you just gotta sell. You just gotta sell to whoever's buying. You know what I mean. Like if you want to make it as actual company, yeah, you gotta be selling you gotta skateboards. Go you way. gotta sell shoes. You gotta sell like the stuff. You can have the raddest company in the world, but if nobody's buying the stuff, like a lot of those smaller companies, they're awesome. What if kids aren't buying the stuff? You know what I mean. You gotta find your yeah. niche and get in. You there ever heard that instrument it. company? Yeah, I've heard get of it. by Gary Gary Collins. Yeah, he's like a consolidated guy. He's like a buddy of mine, and like his company is awesome. Like I think he's got one of the few like smaller like awesome skateboard companies. He's got cool graphics and stuff like that. But you know, like up here in New England, like it's in Cincinnati, but up here in New England, like no none of the other kids know it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I wish he could get money and. To, to, dis- to distribute and sell his company because he's got a good company. You know? yeah. He's got like all these other companies that are just doing awful graphics and they're, and they're, they're just lame. selling them yeah, by yeah. a boatload. Because that's another thing. It's like it's just like when you're trying to be a sponsored skater. It's like, yeah, I get all these rad tricks, but if no one knows you, no one knows you. But it's the same with the company. You, if you got tons of awesome shit, but you haven't done the legwork to get yeah. the company out there and it's exposed. It's hard to do that legwork all the time. I've never done it's it. Like, you know what I mean? like, I'm willing to bet to try to like, have like a skate. Like, you either got to decide to be a small company owner you either got to decide, like, are you doing this company for, like, the love of skateboarding and just to have, like, an outlet? Yeah. Or do you actually want to try to make money at this thing? Because it's, like, two different things. You can have a Absolutely. skateboard company and, like, it's, like, your life and this is what you're putting out as, like, a, as an outlet. Yeah. Or you made this company up so that way you can try to make money. And to try to make money at it, like, really, like, real money, you know? It's a tough I don't know. one. I don't it's understand a tough it. one. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure my buddy Gary isn't making a shit ton of money off his company, even though, like, it's, it's awesome. You know what I mean? He's yeah. just doing it for the love of it. You know, yeah. like, for the actual love of putting it out there, you know. Yeah, Same thing with Steve and Fiber. Like, Fiber, I don't know how he's doing, like, financially. If Steve's, like, paying himself awesome now, or if he, like, but, like, Steve's, like, a great example of somebody that's just always been doing it to do it. Like, he's not doing it for money. He's doing it, he's, that's his outlet. Fiber is his outlet. It's his passion. Outlet. Yeah, it's, his passion. Outlet. it's him. Steve Fiber is Steve, you know what I mean? It's the same I thing. Think... There's no problem. Like, no problem really deep down inside because there's a bunch of people. It's, like, that's, like, my, what I put out to the, to the people. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's like me, my passion. Yeah, skateboards and Mexican out. food, huh? You gotta really sell it out. If someone came buying. to you and was like, you're buying it. Yeah, hey, listen. 15. I'm not gonna say I'm a sellout or anything like that. If somebody came to me and was like, hey, we'll give you a freaking $4 million and yeah. we'll keep you on as a consultant for two and a half years. Like, I would have to seriously sit down and think about that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, that's like, if somebody came to me with like real money, you know what I mean? Like, I would have to think about it. Even I, if I, they're I gonna kids, take man. your burrito yeah, and put it in the grocery store, frozen no problem with burritos in every rack. Amen. I got four kids. That's yeah. all I'm gonna say. About Money talk. The cop I have four kids. Cop out. I have four kids. <laughs> just kidding. Right. Four kids. You know. I got. I have a question. Just... Last meal. Last meal. Uh, appetizer, entree, dessert. Last meal, appetizer, entree, dessert. Dessert's carrot cake. Ooh, good carrot call. cake is delicious. Good you know what? The call. meal, the whole thing might be carrot cake. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to say like the whole thing. Yeah. Carrot I mean, cake. No, it would definitely be something Mexican. It'd be like an awesome burrito from someplace awesome. Carrot cake burrito. I don't even know if it would be my burrito because I've had so many of them. And maybe like a like a Rico. There's a place called El Farlito. No, El Farlito in San Francisco. I'd want to go back there and eat a burrito. So what is it? About appetizer, right? Appetizer, appetizer sushi. Sushi, huh? Yeah, some sushi followed by a burrito. Followed by a carrot whole cake. entire carrot cake. What do, you wash, what do you wash it down with? A dozen Budweiser's. Right. <laughs> a dozen <laughs> Budweiser's and a glass of water. <laughs> That's He's it. Yeah. New England as you yeah. get right there. Yeah, yeah, man. Old Budweiser. Old Budweiser. Sick, man. That's well, awesome. how we usually wrap this thing up is I, uh, I uh, tell the people out there how they can reach us. So for me, it's Anthony Shetler on Instagram. Anthony Shetler on Facebook and Twitter. It's all yeah. the way around. So at Anthony Shetler. And then for Ramsey. Ramsey33 Instagram. Stephen Ramsey Jr. on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Stephen Ramsey33 on Twitter. Oh, yeah, he's on the Twitter game now. Mm-hmm. And hey, right, hey, awesome. if you have questions, yeah, you're going to you can get a hold of me. Yeah, yeah, I am. One it, sec. You're going to ki- bust no, it. It's, it's at the kitchen. I don't, I'm not going to give out that private information. Oh, you that's fair. No problem on kitchen Friday after 3. He might kick you out if you don't yeah. know how to order, though. So get it straight. Um, and yeah, please write in, add some questions. If you got opinions on the show or you want to like just say some stupid shit, go ahead, write in. We love it. It's entertaining. Did um, we trail off too much? 
No, no, no. You're trailing off a lot. There's no such thing as trailing off on the It's awesome. I love the trailing off. Yeah, Yeah, the trailing off is the best shit. We're going to edit this, right? No, no. This is raw. This is it. Why? What did you say? No, now we're on the show. Anything? The popcorn thing? No, no, no. We're leaving that alone. We're leaving that alone. We are? You sure? You don't want me to tell people what it is? Leaving that alone. (laughs) Cool. Well, take care of your kid. Go. No, I got to go take care of my steamer. Take care of your steamer. That sounds weird, but I'm going to go take care of my burrito tortilla shell steamer. Um. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, brother. You're awesome. Thanks. Uh, and we're going to go to No Prob right now and get some food. Hopefully, they You might be going to No Prob to fix my steamer. I might fix it. <laughs> and Billy just texted me and said him and uh, Cameron are on their way to No Prob right now. Oh, so. look at that. We've got a crew going. Well, yeah. there might not be any burritos, but... Is there anything else you want to touch on? Is there anything no, else good. we missed out? You're good? That's good. Kids, skate. Hell yeah. Skate and eat Mexican food. Yeah. Thank you, Todd. All right, we out. Peace, peace, peace. Yeah.